gorgeous. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Cut in the Caboose and another Fact Cow. How are you doing? Big stories, loads of stories in this one because it's like been a while since I've done one. So let's get into it. We've got oh Instagram scammers. We've got oh, some Trump news and some politics news, of course, because when don't we? We have some evil Christian fat shaming going viral. We have some Game of Thrones news. Crazy viral story about, a, about an accident at railway station. It's all going on. So let's get straight into it. First of all, the um, Blue for Sudan uh, sympathy scammers are at it in full force on Instagram at the moment. So basically, we've got scammers who are making bogus claims about sending aid to Sudan in exchange for clicks. You know, this usual like to share and one like equals God loves you type nonsense and every like will make, will, will send a dollar, one of these sorts of scams, share for five dollar type nonsense. Just give you some backstory here. Sudan has been in some crisis since the dictator who ruled there for over 30 years, Omar al Bashir was overthrown and then a 26 year old Sudanese activist. He was one of about 100 people killed in the unrest there and there was a crackdown in Khartoum. But basically there's been a, um, a blue for Sudan, a, a blue circle movement where it's just to show solidarity in protest. But unfortunately, as well as a lot of authentic sympathy, as is always the way, some scammers have jumped on this, any trending topic, and tried to grow their channel. And here's how the scam works. Or like, like for a share and like for money and every share will send a dollar. It's absolute nonsense. This doesn't, this thing doesn't happen. What happens is they'll grow up, a, they'll grow a ton of followers, then they'll monetize it, they make loads of money and they'll sell it. It's, an, it's a scam which happens over and over again. The bottom line is scammers are being scammers, as always. Keep an eye out for this blue for Sudan trend. It's probably a scam. So that's my view. What do you think? Have you been scammed? What do you think of Instagram scammers, of Facebook fake news, of, of how, what's, what's your take on this? I would love to know. So next up, President Trump is the first sitting, well, standing in this case, US president to go to North Korea. Woohoo! And it was really talk hill and cringy. And this is, you know, uh, so Donald Trump and um, Kim Jong-un are friends again now or something. I'm not entirely sure what, what exactly what's going on here, but Donald Trump, the Donald, met Kim Jong-un in the demilitarized zone in near North Korea, was invited to cross briefly into North Korea. And they did this symbolic thing where they stepped over the line into North Korea and Trump was very gushy and lovely and it was all a little bit cringy, if I'm honest. And Trump is all like, oh, it was a great honor and it was amazing. And as always, the left have been throwing throwing shade on this and the right have been claiming it as a great victory and all of the rest of it. And oh, I don't know. Here's, here's my take on this. I hope that... What about the people in North Korea? Do they even know them in this place? They, from, what, from what we understand, they don't even get to hear of the news. Do they even know this has happened? And is this good for the country? And I guess let's hope that this will be one of the good things that Donald Trump is remembered for and not the awful thing that he's probably more likely to be remembered for. Let's hope this is a good thing and it seems like it is despite how it'll be spun because there's a lot of people suffering in that country and I don't want to be like I'm virtue signaling here because you know it's easy to it's easy to do that right. And what do you think? What do you think about the whole Donald Trump in North Korea? I'd love to know. As always leave your thoughts in the comments below. In, in UK politics as an aside the uh, the Brexit party have yet again our, our nation's favourite embarrassment decided to turn their backs on the anthem in the EU, which is mind-bogglingly. They are every bit as embarrassing as Donald Trump is to Americans. They just stood up and then turned their back on, on the anthem being played. It's not even really an anthem, it's a classical piece of music. And all these crappy, embarrassing, I've I got no words for them, they're such an embarrassment. And these are these are people that got elected. And the irony is they're getting paid. They're getting paid as standing members of the EU Parliament. It's so embarrassing. But then, as embarrassing as they are, their their opposition, our Liberal Democrat Party, have also been running around with a yellow t-shirt saying bollocks to Brexit on it. So that's not inflammatory and divisive at all. Oh, right? Oh, politics. Seriously, what is going on in the West? Why have we got so many embarrassing extremes of politics? Where are the parties for me <laughs> and for the rest of, of you? Or why do we only have these lunatic extremes on the left and right? Where are our centrist parties that have, have a little bit of common sense, please? Because I kind of feel when you win, far lefties and far righties stop ruining the, our, our world. 
I think those of us left in the middle, can I be back, please? Are you, are you done yet? Anywho, as always, what do you think of far left and far right and extremist politicians? Moving on, here's what happened. An awful example of people who claim to be religious and good people being amongst the most awful people in our society. Watch this video. She's a chubby girl. She's got a dress on that's appropriate. It comes down to about top of her knees. So you're sitting here Meat calling body. me fat? Oh, you don't think you are? No. I am. I'm sorry. No. You Get the me. I don't have to. And don't swear at me like that. I, I do. That's your problem. <gasps> I oh, my God. But you don't. Obviously. <laughs> don't what a vile, vile woman this body is. I'm warning you. Who are you? Who are you? Who? You read my name. I see that. But who are you to tell me what I'm supposed to do? No. Get the in my face. Quit swearing at me. Get out. I am 19 years old and I can do whatever I want. Really? Yes. Try it. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye, 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 because guess what? I've been recording this entire thing, and I will show my parents that I will never come back to this church because of how much- You can, I'll put the link below. It's really unpleasant. So this Bonnie woman, oh man, she is everything that I get right under my skin about some some of these people who they pretend they're religious. And it's like they use their religion as a weapon to batter people. Now look, Jenna loses her, her cool. She's quite sweary. But you know what? It's swearing. And then this Bonnie woman has the audacity, the hypocrisy to be offended. She tries to play the victim because Jenna, and fair enough, after the girl swore at her in response, she's just fat shamed. And Jenna's put pictures of herself up. She's not a particularly big girl. She looks good. They get under my skin, I'm not gonna lie. They don't care about love and peace and the stuff that they pretend that they want. They just use their religion to hate people. And seriously, if you're religious, these are the people that are harming your religion. They are doing way more harm than atheists don't, generally speaking. I know, I know it's very popular for people of faith to hate the atheists, okay, to hate me. And that's fine, I can take that all day long. But ultimately, and most atheists don't really care about what other people believe in. As long as you keep it to yourself, do well, that's fine. You Nobody's harming anybody. So the Swansboro Church released a letter, Pastor Kevin Baker, and good good on this guy. What a great... He's only been doing the job for a couple of weeks. And um, he was very quick to say that Bonnie is a volunteer. She will no longer be taking part in any leadership activities within the church. They basically kicked her out. And good. These are the people that are from within. <laughs> They're doing far more harm to, to the religion. What do you think? Over to you. What's your... That's my take on this. What's your views on these um, religious hypocrites? Bullies? What do we think here? Let me know in the comments below. So, next up. Going viral like crazy right now. Railway stations, gap between the platform and the train. You may have already seen this on the news. It's 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 uh, all over the place at the moment. But in Australia, in New South Wales, um, a young lad, a little bit distracted, goes to get on a train and this happens. It's in the middle there, blue shorts, waiting for the door to open, goes to step forwards and whoop. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's not good. Now I've seen the end here and luckily he's fished out and he is fine. But how scary is that? Luckily the boy had no serious injuries and I think there was not even, not even a scratch or anything, he was fine. But that is terrifying. I'm a little bit claustrophobic of that sort of thing anyway, the gaps between railway stations and trains. We've seen this happen in London, we've seen this happen around the world and we're just gonna see more and more of this. Scary. And finally, a little bit slow to get this one out there but it's now been confirmed. The new Game of Thrones spin-off show has a teaser video out there. It's called Game of Thrones Blood Moon and it looks freaking awesome. So there it is, Game of Thrones Blood Moon. Yay! I'm not gonna lie, I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be amazing, I have no doubt. I have faith, they will prevail. And there's a lot of great TV happening right now. I mean, tonight, as I am filming this, Stranger Things season three starts. Tonight on Netflix. So that's gonna be cool. There's so much good television on right now. It's just awesome. Stranger Things, by the way, Coca-Cola. They, they did a thing called New Coke back in the 70s to, to take on Pepsi and everyone hated it. And so they, and then they re-released Old Coke, which is now current Coke, but then 
then was called Coke Classic. And new Coke is being re-released to tie in with Stranger Things Season 3 on tonight on Netflix. So that's something to watch as well. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, leave your comments below, share, subscribe, like, hit the alarm bell. The, you know the, you know the drill by now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I shall see you in the very next show. And I'm off to VidCon. So I'm off to California now. So my bag's packed. And um, bye. See you in America. Thank you so much. Mwah. Popping up over there is the last show. But I would love that. There's one YouTube thing you should watch next. And um, sometimes they get it the wrong way around. Mm. Bye.